use long multiplication to multiply a two-digit number with a two-digit number, a three-digit number with a two-digit number, and a four-digit number with a three-digit number. Let us look at the first example, which is multiplication of a two-digit number by another two-digit number. 47 times 28. It is very important to write the numbers down correctly and to draw the answer lines. Write 47 in the first line and write the multiplication sign in the second line and the number 28. Units 8 times 7 equals 56. Write the 6 down and carry the 5 tens over. 8 times 4 equals 32 plus 5 that equals 37. Write the 7 in the tens column and the 3 in the hundreds column. Write a 0 in the unit column as a placeholder for the tens. Tens, 5 times 7 equals 14. Write the 4 below the 7 in the tens column and carry the 1 over. 2 times 4 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. Write the 9 below the 3 in the hundreds column. Add the 6 and 0 in the units column. 6 plus 0 equals 6 and write the 6 below the 0. Add the 7 and 4 in the tens column. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Write the 1 in the tens column and carry the 1 over. Add the 9 plus 3 in the hundreds column and add the 1. Write the 3 below the 9 in the hundreds column and write the 1 in the thousands column. The answer is 1316 or 1316. Tell the learners that there is also another multiplication method that is quite interesting, namely the lattice multiplication method. At the end of this video, we provide a few links to online videos that explain this method for you to share with your learners. Tell the learners that it is very important to follow all the steps in long division. At the end of the video, we will place a link to an online video featuring a song which will help learners remember the steps of long division. If you have taught the daddy, mommy, sister, brother, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down multiplication steps, then the learners will relate to this song. This was also dealt with in a previous workshop. Inform your learners that they have been equipped to follow all the long division steps. Write the sum on the board, 316 divided by 12. Ask the learners to give you the first six multiples of 12 and write it as a clue board. Start dividing by asking the learners how many 12s there are in 1. Response should be none or 12 cannot go into 1, etc. Ask the learners to divide 31 by 12. They must check the clue board. 36 is too big, so 24 will be taken and 12 times 2 equals 24. Remind the learners that the 2 must be written above the 1 and then the 1 must be multiplied by 2. So 2 times 12 is equal to 24. The 24 is written below 31. 24 is subtracted from 31 and the answer is 7. Bring down the 6 so that the number is 76. Repeat the daddy, mommy, sister, brother steps. 76 divided by 12 equals 6. Write the 6 above the 6 and so on. 6 multiplied with 12 is equal to 72. Write the 72 below the 76 and draw a line. 72 subtracted from 76 is equal to 4. Write the 4 below the 2 in the units column. Ask the learners if 4 can be divided by 12. The remainder is 4. Explain that 4 divided by 12 will give you a fraction, namely 4 over 12 or 1 third, but we are working with whole numbers. Emphasize that it is important to check your answer to make sure that you have calculated accurately. 26 is multiplied by 12 and the remainder is added. In this video, we provided guidelines on how to teach short and long multiplication and long division. We encourage you to access the online videos on these topics for which the links are provided after this video. You may now navigate to the next section where we will provide guidelines on how to plan effectively for Term 1 of 2021.